Yeah, this is even nice too. Here's like a nice kind of like a scene background here. You can just photograph here. I'm actually uh, yeah, pretty excited to look at the footage of this stuff here. So anyways, um, so this is actually kind of cool is you have this nice scene here. You have this nice background and there's going to be people walking this way. Probably people coming this way. So I see some tourists there, but it doesn't look like anyone's really coming. So in the ideal world, you just be patient and then you just wait for people to come towards you. So even what you can think about the composition. So the frame I see is like around this. So yeah, try to get diagonals to come out from this corner, from this corner. Oh, this is pretty good. So you see the person coming towards me, clicking, clicking, and also try to shoot. Head on. And the nice thing is that she was walking this way towards me, and as she's walking down here, all these leading lines are pointing directly towards her, which makes an interesting scene. Also, even here, this girl coming towards me here, all these leading lines going to her. So yeah, just shooting. Trying to get a good dynamic angle. Nice hand gesture, her walking this way. Now she's gonna walk down this way. Yeah, so this is pretty good. So I, I could see actually from over there, there's tons of people kind of walking towards us. And then you could also see yeah, she's too far now because I'm shooting with a 24 millimeter lens. So you can't really uh, see, unfortunately. So yeah, I. So so part of it also is to follow your gut. Is you know you see all the people over there walking towards you. Oh, this is pretty good. And then yeah, essentially you're just patient. Wait for them to get closer to you. Keep clicking. Cut-off technique. That's pretty good too. The nice thing is that they're coming towards you, and then you could essentially funnel them. Just keep clicking. Arigato. And then sometimes people will walk towards you, but they'll kind of stop because they don't want to get into your shot. So essentially what you have to do is you have to be patient and just wait for them to keep coming towards you. And man, I could like be here all day. All these leading lines going straight to him. So this is also the tricky thing. So there's different paths. So people are, are walking this way. They could either walk around me and go down this way or they could walk past me and go back that way. So hopefully I'm describing this okay. So you can see the people coming from this way. They could either walk around me and go that way. Or they could walk this way towards me. And then walk and then go downstairs that way. So this would actually be good too is if I waited for somebody to come up this way and then I could create a nice composition nice diagonal composition with leading lines them coming up towards me this way and remember I was talking about like oh that's kind of nice too what you can even do is try to get Um, as people are walking towards you, essentially just crouch down. And what I tried to do was um, try to frame it so his head. And also, what you want to do is you want to keep experimenting with your compositions so that you don't. Oh, that's good. Just there. That's good. It's going down so you can see. Try to separate his head from the background, getting good extreme diagonals.
the light today is super good too. So you can see all the diagonal lines. I'm shooting, walking away, keep clicking, and isolate him. Uh, yeah, so essentially what I mean to say, so, you know, I've been working in this spot here for quite a while now. And yeah, I could essentially change my positioning standing about here. So even as these people are coming towards me, essentially I could crouch down this way here. Now ideally what I was trying to do is when he was walking towards me, you see that little slit of blue sky over there? I essentially tried to photograph it so that their head would perfectly be in that spot there as they're walking by me. So this lady here is coming towards me, so essentially I could just crouch down, just wait. It's actually quite dynamic. And you could see as she's walking towards me, I was putting her head in that nice little blue spot there. Also, it's kind of difficult when you're photographing couples because there's two of them. It's hard to uh, isolate one person. So you could even see me right now. Essentially, I'm um, crouch down. So the nice thing with uh, crouching down is when you're staying low to the ground, you don't actually look as intimidating, so people end up walking uh, around you. Yeah, so if you want to be a little bit less uh, conspicuous when you're shooting street photography, yeah, just crouch down, stay low, let people essentially walk around you, and then keep switching up your perspective and essentially, yeah, play with it and have fun with the man. I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as I am. Okay, so I'm gonna walk down these stairs here and continue to wax uh, poetic with you and just share some thoughts. So yeah, so... Um, oh, so this is totally random. So I'm a huge fan of the GoPro. I've been using it for like almost like seven years now. Surprisingly, I don't actually upgrade my GoPro that often. I'm currently using a GoPro Hero 3, the older version. A small little Olympus stereo mic, which is connected to the side. The battery on this is not great. I might end up getting a new one. But yeah, the, the cool thing with photography and video and vlogging and GoPro is that sometimes you just kind of see cool things and you, essentially what you want to do as a photographer is kind of show you know you you're out shooting you're traveling you're seeing the world you're experiencing all this cool stuff and what you're trying to do as a photographer or making a video is you're trying to share these experiences with other people because um i know like let's say you had an, an amazing experience and then there's a saying you know pics or it didn't happen 